Aloha, I am John Roth, an estate planning attorney, and this is Just Ask John, where I answer your estate planning questions. So today's question is, what assets should be in my trust? So as part of an estate plan, the documents generally include a will, power of attorney, advanced healthcare directive, and sometimes a revocable trust. Um, if you have a revocable trust as part of your estate plan, congratulations, you've accomplished the first step of creating an estate plan. Uh, but there is another step, which includes funding your trust, transferring certain assets into your trust. Um, some people don't transfer any assets into their trust. And when they die, their will pours everything over into the trust. So when you have a trust, you always also have a will that makes sure the assets that, for whatever reason, are not in your trust and don't have designated beneficiaries, when you die, get transferred into your trust. So your trust will control who the beneficiaries eventually are. However, there are certain things that you can accomplish by transferring assets into your trust during your lifetime. Transferring assets into your trust during your lifetime does accomplish probate avoidance and incapacity planning. Probate is triggered when someone dies owning certain assets, which include real estate. So definitely, if probate avoidance is one of your goals, transferring your real estate into your trust will accomplish avoiding those assets from triggering probate. Also, other financial assets that do not have designated beneficiaries that total $100,000 or more also triggers probate. So your larger savings, brokerage investment accounts, those should also be held in your trust. Uh, some people prefer to use designated beneficiary provisions to avoid probate for those larger investment savings type accounts. Um, however, yes, designating a beneficiary on an account does bypass probate. However, it does not provide for the incapacity planning that is uh, accomplished by transferring those larger investment saving type of accounts into your trust. For example, during your lifetime, if you're living but you're having a hard time managing your own affairs, writing checks, paying bills, um, you can step down, you can resign as the trustee of your own trust, or if you don't have the foresight, opportunity, or desire, you can be removed. Uh, generally, we define in our documents as if two physicians agree that you lack the capacity required to manage your own affairs, and the next trustee, your successor trustee, maybe is one of your children, can step in and become the trustee of your trust while you're still alive and make sure that you are taken care of, your bills are paid, your assets are managed for your benefit during your lifetime. Uh, so basically, when you transfer an asset into your trust, whether it's your real estate or investment savings, brokerage type of accounts, you benefit from potential probate avoidance and incapacity planning. Anything in your trust while you're alive, managing your own affairs, is treated as yours. You are the trust. You're the trustee, you're the beneficiary, the trust uses your social security number. However, when something is held in your trust during your lifetime, generally it makes it easier to manage in the event of your incapacity or death. Of course, every situation is different, and if you have specific questions regarding your goals, your assets, please contact an attorney. Uh, if you want to see more Just Ask John, go to our website, hawaiitrustlaw.com, and there are more Just Ask John videos there. Otherwise, you can leave a comment below. Have a great day. Aloha.